You think you've got everything Star Wars. Well, do you have a Star Wars laptop? Even the box itself is covered with cool Star Wars graphics. I'm sure you're gonna to wanna to keep that around. And inside, when you're taking out the laptop for the first time, the box the power adapter comes in has cool Darth Vader graphics on it. And even the foam things that hold the laptop in there look like little TIE fighters. Okay, so once you've got the laptop out of the box, you can see it is fully dressed front to back in kind of battle-worn Star Wars graphics. On the back of the lid, we've got uh, Darth Vader and some Imperial looking stuff. Uh, and on this side, uh, we've got a Stormtrooper, we've got some more sort of uh, uh, battle scarring, a little Death Star in the background, uh, some Star Wars uh, language up here. Uh, one of the cooler parts I thought was the touchpad, which has that uh, X-Wing targeting computer view from uh, episode four uh, just printed right on top of the touchpad and of course the keyboard is backlit in ominous glowing red. When you dive into the actual system itself you're going to find the Star Wars Control Center and that gives you access to a whole bunch of different Star Wars Windows themes with rotating background images and even system sounds uh, whether it's uh, the original trilogy or the new movie that's coming up. Also image galleries, uh, lots of behind the scenes stuff and sketches and production photos. If you take away all the Star Wars stuff. You've got a fairly mainstream uh, 15 inch Core i5 laptop. The nice touch here is that uh, starting at $699, this really isn't more expensive than if you just want a non Star Wars version of this. Although I will say for the holiday season in 2015, uh, there are some pretty stiff discounts on the non Star Wars Pavilion 15 laptops right now. But as it is, it's a reasonably inexpensive way to get a cool piece of Star Wars ephemera uh, that also works as a perfectly fine mainstream everyday laptop.